Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Today we're going to be talking about the new 7th generation Core i7 and Core i9. Now, I just want to, it seems like Intel has taken a step backwards. Now I'm going to show a couple images on the screen now. And the reason why I'm saying a couple steps backwards is that the 6th generation CPUs, Core i7s, were, had, uh, had 28 and 40 PCI Express lanes. So let's try to compare apples with apples here. So let's go with, we're going to start with the, the first Core i7-7800X, which is 6 cores, 12 threads. Now let's go with the Core i7-6850K, 6 cores, 12 threads, and that is 40 PCI Express lanes. Now this is the 6850. Now we can go back one uh, processor level and go to a Core i7-6800K, which is six cores, 12 threads at 28 PCI Express lanes. And that's essentially what the 7800X is. So the 6800K and the 7800X are essentially are, are, are closer together than any other CPU so far. So we go to six, six cores, 12 threads, but the only difference is, is that the cache on the 6800K is 15 meg. The cache on the 7800X is eight and a quarter meg. So that seemed a little silly. Um, it's still 140 watt CPU, uh, TDP that is. And the price is $434 for the 6800K approximately. That's the time of launch, I guess and the pricing for the 7800X is $389. So technically it is cheaper, but the meg, the, the cash level has changed almost two times less. So in theory, if we're going to the 6850, six core 12 thread, that is still in its, still in the same, uh, it's actually independent from every CPU that Intel makes because the 6850K is still better than the 7800X. Will it outperform it? The base clock of the 6850 is 3.6 gigahertz. The base clock on the 7800X is 3.5. So the kind of, all of their, it's kind of strange. The, all the top end CPUs uh, for the sixth generation Core i7 with the 2011 socket are all priced ridiculously. However, the PCI Express lanes are, are 40 and they've dropped them down to 28. So either 16 or 28, and then you got to go to the $1,000 CPU, which is the 7900X, which is 44 PCI Express lanes, and that is 10 cores, 20 threads. So the 6950X and the 7900X are the only two CPUs that are very similar to each other, meaning that the 7900X has four extra PCI Express lanes, but half the cache, just about half the cache of the 6950X. The base clock is 3.3 gigahertz versus the 3.0 for the 6950, but it's 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 a little. I'm not really sure where this is going to go in terms of the DDR um, support is 2400 for the sixth generation and 2666 for the seventh generation, but from the looks of it here, I'm not really quite sure where it's going to go in terms of performance because the boost clock. The boost clock is four and a half gigahertz, and the boost clock for the 6950X is only three and a half gigahertz. So Intel has made some substantial changes to their stuff, to their CPUs, but 
a lot of the the eight core 16 thread the 6900k and the 7820x are the same core and thread count but the base clock is different the 7820x is 3.6 gigahertz the 6900k is 3.2 gigahertz the boost clock is 3.7 gigahertz on the 6900k and the boost clock on the 7820x is four and a half so there are some benefits here but the the other the other interesting thing is is that it's six hundred dollars for the 7820x and eleven hundred dollars just about eleven hundred dollars for the 6900k so they're pretty much out selling their own hardware make it forcing you to buy the seventh generation uh, CPU, but with the level three cache being so much different, I'm not really quite sure. In other words, the re main reason why I would want the 6850X, I mean, sorry, 6850K is because of the 40 PCI Express lanes. That's the only reason why I would go that route for video editing purposes and having both of my video cards at 16X. Now, granted, I understand that you don't need it, but just thinking, knowing that I have that capability or add other, other cards in the, in, the, in the slots, that I would be achieving full bandwidth on everything. Like even if I had a RAID card that I want to have you know, full performance on, I'm not limited to the PCI Express lanes of only 28, which I still can't even have two cards at 16X with the 28 uh, PCI Express lanes. So it's still, one is at 16, then I have an eight, and then I have a four, and as long as it adds up to 28, that's the maximum. But the main purpose of me going to a 6850 or a 6900K would be for having two cards at 16X. That's the, the, whole, the primary purpose of that. So that's the reason why I was looking at the 6850K. And, and the 7740X, which is, four cores, eight threads, is only 16 PCI Express lanes. If you have more than one video card, you're SOL. So, anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care.